I am going to attempt to use Jamie's lighter to light my candle because I can't use these. He smokes, I don't smoke. So, <laughs> ow. Am I the only one that can't just flame? Because I wanted a candle and all my matches, all my matches have run out. No. Sorry, I thought it was going out then for a second and I was about to get really annoyed. So I'm really hoping that the camera is in focus in this whole video, but we will have to see when the video is over. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I thought that I would film something that I didn't think I would film, but I've been seeing a lot of videos going about and also a lot of questions are being asked to me on Instagram about whether the happy body plan is a scam. And um, every time or the first time I got that question, I was like really confused. I was like, a scam? Like why would it be a scam? And somebody said to me, oh, when I typed it into Google, it said it was a scam. And there is somebody that made a video saying that it's a scam. And I will explain that video. I did watch it. And basically the woman said that they had used her pictures on their website um, from her transformation. I don't know if that's true or not. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. Um, but apparently the, the Happy Body Plan people or Alexandra used this woman's transformation pictures on their website trying to claim that, that she had used their plan to get those results when she hadn't, which obviously is bad, like that's not allowed. And obviously that is bad if that's true. But she was saying that there's no way on earth that doing 10 minutes of exercise a day or 10 minute hit workout can make you have really good results. She was saying that she literally had to completely fast eat like one meal a day and that was it to get the results that she wanted. Now I'm here to tell you that you can get great results with just 10 minutes a day. Is it a scam? No. Does that mean that it's gonna work for everybody? No. So it is a plan, just like any diet, just like any kind of lifestyle change or, you know, journey to weight loss, you have to have your mind set to it. You have to adapt it for yourself. The plan does encourage eating about 1,400 calories a day or 1,200 minimum. And for some people, 1,200 is great, fine and works well. And for others, 1,400 is better. And for some people, eating even more than that is better. It's definitely sometimes more beneficial to eat a little bit more than you think because often you can eat less and your body will go into starvation mode and it won't be burning as many calories as it would if you did actually feed yourself a little bit more. So when it comes to the eating part of it, obviously the plan does say you can eat what you like as long as it's within the calories and I love that. I love that fact. That's why this diet for me doesn't feel like a diet. I've never dieted before. Like I've never done a diet plan before or I've never done a diet before because it was never like my thing. It wasn't something that I ever thought I needed to do. And when I saw this, I realized that I did need to do something about, you know, my weight and everything like that. And I did want to make a little fitness change and just be a lot fitter and healthier and lose a little bit of weight in the process. And what I like about this plan is that it means that I can have treats and it also means that I can eat what I like. I'm not cutting out carbs, I'm not cutting out sugar, I'm not fasting, I'm just planning things out. I'm eating so much more vegetables than I've ever did before. I'm eating a lot more fruit. I'm really thinking about the goodness in my food. I think if you take this plan and you see it in a way of, I can eat whatever I want as long as it's within 1,400 calories, or let's go to McDonald's. Well, you can't now because of um, the coronavirus, but if it was still open, you could literally think, I can go to McDonald's every day. And as long as I eat within my calories, that's fine. No, if you do that and you're expecting to be um, more toned or you're expecting to be fitter and healthier, then don't. Just get that out your head and think about it as a lifestyle change. Think about it nutritionally. Do you want to do this for the way you look or do you want to do it for your health, your fitness and just a bit of everything in general because it should be about fitness. It should be about being happy from the inside. That's why it's called the happy body plan. It does make you mentally happy as well. And obviously exercise is great. So is it a scam? 
no. I am going to give my opinions on the new summer plan in a second, but the thing that the woman was saying it was a scam about is everyone's sort of curious as to whether it actually works, whether sticking to 1,400 calories works and with the, with the exercise. Now, the thing about HIT workout, so it stands for high intensity interval training, is that when you're doing it in that moment, it is intense, it is difficult. Some of the exercises on the plan are easier than other ones, but some of them are really hard. In that intensity, you are putting full effort in. You are trying really, really hard, or at least you should be. And that means that those exercises are really going to impact you and your heart rate and your muscles and everything like that. You then have a short break. So kind of bring your heart rate down, you have a little rest. And in that rest, it means that when you come back into it, the next sort of five minutes, you can go back in full power again. Once you've done that, you or your Fitbit or my fitness pal might say that you've not burnt that many calories because I know people are saying, oh, mine says I only burnt 60 calories or mine says I only burnt 90 calories. With HIIT workouts, you burn calories during the workout and then as the day goes on, you burn more calories. So every hour throughout the day, you will be burning a few extra calories than you did to start with. So that's why HIIT workouts are really good. A lot of people and um, fitness people do recommend doing the workouts in the morning so that you have that kind of calorie burn throughout the day. I do mine sort of about four, five o'clock-ish just because that fits in with my day and also I just have a snack sort of an hour before I do it and then it just fits in with my schedule. Everybody's different but I definitely have more motivation when it's the afternoon. Okay, Jamie came up and he's here right now and I can't remember what I was saying but I think I was talking about HIIT workouts and that when you do a HIIT workout throughout the day, you burn in extra calories. That's why I would not recommend doing it in the evening, even though if you don't have time to do it throughout the day or if you're at work or whatever, uh, which I know some people that do the plan are nurses and they work really early in the morning to late at night and they have to do it when they get back from work, then that's fine. But like I said, it is better to do it in the morning because you do burn extra calories throughout the day when you've done a HIIT workout. Oh, also, look, I think I broke this earlier. Oh, I just couldn't really lose. So I had to put hey. it back on. Uh-oh. That, that come off. Oh, God. Oh, God. Yeah, look. They come off fully. Uh, <laughs> they come off fully. <laughs> That's what I mean. That's yeah, what I think we're okay. I don't know what week I'm on now or what week I'm meant to be on. And you're probably thinking, you, so you should probably know that. Um, I think I got to like week eight and I decided that I was getting, well I didn't decide, I just got a little bit bored of the workouts. So it wasn't the workouts themselves, basically week one you are meant to do the same workout every single day for seven days and then week two the next workout for seven days. By the time I got to week eight I was kind of losing motivation because to do the same workout every single day, especially if it's like a hard workout or especially if I don't know, it, the exercises I don't like, then I just feel less motivated to do it. So I thought to increase my motivation, I will do a different one every single day. So day one, workout one, day two, workout two, etc. And that's what I started doing. And I prefer that and I like that. And you can do that if you want. Obviously, the plan does say to do one for a week or and then the next one for a next week. And I think that is quite a good thing to do and it is better if you can do that because obviously when you do it on day one, you won't be doing it as well as you will be on day five. So it does mean that you can do the exercises a lot better as you go along. But yeah, I did stop doing that. Now I, I did consider because when you do sign up to this plan, you do have to bear in mind, which a lot of people don't actually know this until they join, is that you don't have the plan forever. Some people do think that you do, but you don't. You have it for um, 120 days, so you've got your 90 day plan, so you've got 90 days to do it in, and then they've given you an extra 30 days, so that means that if you're ill or if you, don't know, lose motivation, then you've got extra 30 days if you decide that you want to repeat a week or something, and some people start from scratch. Somebody said they started again like six times. I don't want to be that person that starts from the very beginning, to go all the way through, I will just kind of do my own thing and each week is like a new week for me. So I was gonna decide whether to carry this on because you do get the plan for 120 days, but after that 120 days, you can either not have it anymore, so not like use the plan at all anymore and just 
you might have reached your goal and you just don't want to do it or you can pay five pound a month and keep the plan now i think i made the decision where i thought do you know what? i don't want it anymore because the plan itself has been really good for me because it's taught me about calories and kind of counting your calories and i know some people are really like you know against counting calories but what i mean is just being aware of what's in your food and being able to make like better healthier choices rather than going for things that are higher in calorie that maybe you didn't realize had loads of calories in some people in the chat have said that they eat loads of mayonnaise and loads of butter and loads of oil and they don't count it in their calories you really do need to count those because you can have like some mayonnaise on your plate that is more calories than the actual meal so you definitely need to count those things as well so i am going to pay the five pounds for the next like jesus christ right i am going to pay the five pound for the next two months i think and i'm going to make some more videos and the reason why i'm going to do that is because i'm not at my goal weight yet if I followed the plan from the very beginning exactly how I should have done, then I would 100% be at my goal weight, 1 million percent, but I haven't. And I'm just kind of adjusting. And I think sometimes with things like this, you do need to like adjust because it is a lifestyle change. It's not just like a quick diet, or at least you should see it like that. So I am gonna continue to do it. I wanna make more videos on it and show you my like what I eat in a day and what I eat in a week and things like that. So I can make those videos. And I know that like thousands more people have joined over the last few days um, doing the plan just due to the coronavirus and everyone staying at home and alexandra doing live workouts on her instagram has encouraged people to join so yeah loads of people have messaged me asking if it's a scam no the thing with the woman and the pictures and them using her pictures was fake maybe probably if she was lying i don't know um but that's nothing to do with the fact that she was saying that you can't lose weight from just doing 10 minutes exercise a day because they do always say that when you lose weight it's 80 percent nutrition and 20 percent exercise so i definitely know that now because i've been doing workouts for years and sort of maintained my weight whereas i haven't been thinking about my food as much and now i am and i'm losing weight so it's definitely more of a food thing than it is the exercise thing but the exercises are really good for toning about the summer plan so i'm just going to kind of finish the video by talking about that and my opinions on that they've come out with a six week summer plan it's 30 pound and i think you get 12 workouts i will correct myself if i'm wrong on the screen Also, I think you get the food plan as well. I'm not sure. I don't know if you do or not. I will check. Apparently, they're a lot harder. So apparently, the intensity compared to the ones that are on the 90 day plan, the one I'm doing is a lot harder. The workouts on the one I'm doing are really good anyway. I've done a lot of YouTube workouts and these ones are definitely better, like in terms of HIIT workouts, because obviously on YouTube you can do normal, um, like half an hour long workouts. That's not a HIIT workout. Um, HIIT workouts are a lot shorter and these ones are really, really good. Um, so I don't know, but the reason why I'm not going to buy that plan is because I don't need to. Like I said, for me, it was about the eating rather than the exercise. So I just kind of want to focus on that more. And you can find workouts on YouTube that, you know, maybe they're not like, um, as, you know, as good as the ones on this plan, but they are pretty similar like do you know what i mean like you don't need to pay money for them they're free and you can still use them so when people message me i will recommend to them you can get the plan if you want but if you don't want to or you don't have the money just keep your calories around 1400 a day and do a hit workout off youtube every single day if you did not want to buy the plan but obviously the plan does help with motivation and keeping you going so not going to buy that and i personally having bought the original plan don't think it would be worth my money to buy that again but if you don't already have the original plan and you want to buy the summer plan instead then maybe that's something that you 
would look into doing. Also, I just wanted to say they've got some bonus workouts on there. So an extra ab workout and an extra bum workout and it's five pounds for two. I thought, oh, I'll just get them. Now, a lot of people say, oh my God, they're really good. They work really well, which they will do if you're a beginner. I have been doing bum workouts and ab workouts on YouTube for like six years and these are too easy like they're nowhere near as good as the ones on YouTube and a lot of people have said that so if you're a beginner then that's fine they will work really well but I don't feel any pain in my abs the day after I don't feel any pain in my bum the day after and I don't like that I like to feel pain because I like to know it's working so yeah and also um, so I think you need to think about that before you buy that one because you are only getting two exercises. So overall, is any of this a scam? No. Is it a lot of money for things that you can get on YouTube? Yes. Um, but overall, I think with motivation, if I hadn't have got this plan, I wouldn't be motivated as much. I wouldn't be as knowledgeable on different foods and calories. But now that I am, when people ask me should i get the plan i will recommend advice based on what i've learned rather than say yeah go and spend the money but nine times out of ten people do say oh i bought it now anyway um so yeah um and i'm not going to get the summer plan but i am going to make some videos so subscribe if you want to see some more videos like um more what i ain't a days updated my results video and loads of stuff so give the video a thumbs up if you liked it and see you in my next video bye